Hey everyone, this is Stephen Christopher, OK News TV. I wanted to come on here and discuss something about uh, Neuralink. Um, this is this is getting close to the mark of the beast if it's not the mark of the beast already. Um, what does it say? Something in Daniel about they would try to mix miry clay with iron, but the two shall not cleave together. Um, Maybe iron could mean metal, and maybe clay, clay could mean humans, or people, men and women. Um, putting metal inside people's bodies as far as uh, just making it a part of themselves. I'm wondering if they're trying to um, just turn people into cyborgs, like the Borg on Star Trek, um, uh, where they will be assimilated. Um, if they're not, as, they will just be assimilated. If, they are not assimilated, they will be eliminated. And maybe that's where Revelation 13 is going. Um, what I fear is that these people that get Neuralink or uh, some similar type of product will will meld with a machine. And um, I believe it does say something in Revelation about uh, they they will uh, they will try to try to die, but uh, death will flee from them. Maybe this is the case because people's consciousness gets locked up in an electronic matrix caused by uh, merging with this machine technology and where the metal um, merge, helps them merge with other people. And that's part of what Elon Musk was wanting to do is have the interface be so fast because apparently the interface of touching our phones with our thumbs and using keyboards on computers isn't fast enough to keep up with the uh, internet technology and the artificial intelligence technology that's coming out so Elon Musk's strategy is to to merge with the machine to keep up with it and that just seems to play right into the prophecy of Revelation 13 and um, once these people merge with with electronics, I think they'll be merging with some big cloud network um, network machine uh, that that holds all the data of these people, and potentially their consciousness gets transferred into this this uh, network um, hub machine, the cloud, if you will, and their consciousness is merged with everybody else's consciousness and with all the electronic machines around the world they're just kind of trapped in a prison of electronics everybody just trapped together and everybody having to deal with each other's nastiness meanness craziness badness horribleness all the horror of that can you imagine all the worst nightmares of everybody in the world being merged together and being trapped in that and not being able to escape another thing that I'm thinking about is Zeus. Maybe Zeus was a false archetype god created to represent Satan. Satan and Zeus possibly, eh? And uh, what did Zeus have as a weapon? Was it not a lightning bolt? Um, and is not Satan the prince of the air? So if Zeus has a lightning bolt, he sends it through the air. That's electric. So maybe electricity um, controlled by Satan is satanic and getting merged with that electrical system is, is making you one of Satan's creatures just merging with it a power of the air also a dragon which is another symbol for Satan I believe is uh, a dragon breathes fire and what is fire? fire's hot is not electricity hot so maybe fire can be a form of electricity too. So I think, I'm wondering if merging with these electronics is just really merging you into the image of Satan. And maybe that is the image of the beast. Is Satan a robot? I'm wondering, you know, was, did God construct these, did God construct these angels? Or did they turn into when they fell um, robotic entities that are just Full of metal wires and and I know uh, some people say it's just plasma um, but plasma is electric as well so I mean there could be a tie-in of there and I know this is all just kind of um, broad speculation here but I mean I mean I think it's very intriguing that 
the electrical stuff merging with people's brains. I think their consciousness is going to get locked up inside that electric hub, the cloud of, of local area networks and major networks wherever they're, they're housed, possibly in satellites, possibly in an underground bunker somewhere, and, and uh, possibly duplicated in many places across the earth. Excuse me. But anyway, uh, it's, it's just crazy. I mean, are people actually going to put these wires in their heads and become robots, become cyborgs, and become just one collective group, one collective board group? I mean, science fiction becoming reality, it's getting out of hand. It's getting crazy, man. And... Uh, Perhaps that is the image of the beast, is being part of the machine. And that's why they, they try to die, but death will flee from them. And they're, they're machines that, that can't die because they're all connected together. And to kill it all off, you'd have to kill every network, server, wherever it was, whatever region of the world it was in, whatever satellite it may be on whatever dimensional rift it might be trapped in, whatever dimensional reality, I mean, there could be another dimension where another server is is hiding with the cloud on it too, where these consciousnesses can go and, and flee to or be sent to, directed to, after the other server was destroyed. And uh, it's just crazy. So it, I'm wondering if it won't be God that are that is condemning these people, it will be themselves choosing to be locked in a system with the promise of eternal life. And it'll be, it, at first it will seem all wonderful because, hey, you'll be able to go online, you'll be able to play Fortnite without even coming home. You'll just be able to think about it. Hey, I want to play Fortnite. Boom, happens. You're playing Fortnite, you're shooting other people in your dreams. And what if somebody else over here wants to go to a flower shop and you know, in their mind. Well, in their mind, they're going to a flower shop. But what if that all gets tied together? That person, that woman that wants to go to the flower shop runs across in the web or in the in the cloud where they're connected together, that person playing Fortnite. So it turns into a flower shop Fortnite incident. Now, both people are going to be pissed off because the person going to the flower shop is going to get shot and the person trying to play Fortnite is just going to see a bunch of flowers instead of people that he wants to shoot. And it's 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 going to be horrible. I mean, all these things are going to... And that's just a simplification of what can happen. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse before it gets better. I, I hope that people can understand or try to understand this. This... I wouldn't have believed this 15 years. I don't think I would have believed this 10 years ago. I might not have believed it 5 years ago that people would merge with machines. I thought it was a DNA mutilation and that's another thing or not mutilation mutation i thought it was a dna mutation potentially that would happen that they would get the third strand of dna and it would just turn them into animals maybe it's a combination of both but um it's crazy the mark of the beast is it's here it's getting close to here and and that's the last thing i want to settle on in this video is I wonder if some of these people in the upper echelons of society, some people call them the elites, um, maybe they are elite in some ways. But, uh, you know, I'm wondering, are they already possessing this technology and using it? I know that when I was uh, in a place, I won't go too far where I was, but my mind was, I heard a voice say that a basketball player, I won't say his name, got a new chip and it allows him to make another .5 second break on the ball better than the other players and that they had upgraded his chip. Now, I'm wondering if this could have been some kind of true voice or, or vision that I had that uh, the athletes and the people in the ups, upper echelons of society are able to upgrade themselves like we upgrade our iPhones. Hey, I want to I wanna be a better athlete. Give me another chip so I can run faster, so I can be quicker, so I can jump higher, so I can put more spin on the ball, whatever, you know? And what about um, presidents, prime ministers, kings, queens, um, 
whatever they call people, wherever they may be, that are the head honchos, do they get to do they get to say, hey, I want to live forever, or I want to be the smartest, most effective leader ever? Can you give me a chip to make me more intelligent and immortal? Maybe that's the part that makes the beast. The beast is they want to become immortal and they want to become the most powerful individual on earth. And that might give everyone, or a lot of people, or at least some people, a hint of who the beast may be. Check out what's going on in Israel with uh, Jared Kushner, um, the Third Temple, um, they're trying to bring in Noahide laws, well, there's seven laws, and eventually it's going to condemn Christians because it's going to state that all Christians are idolaters because they believe in Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and that's me, I believe in that, I believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Heavenly Father, hallowed be his name. But the Noahide laws people, those Sanhedrin, Shabbat, Lubavitch people are going to possibly, and I think probably, state that Christians are idolaters because they don't just believe in God, they believe in Jesus and they believe in the Holy Spirit. So so they, they're going to say that, oh, you're idolatering, or I don't know if that's the right word, but you're, you're choosing Jesus and he's an idol. That's what they're going to say. That's not what I believe. And they're going to say, you're choosing the Holy Spirit, and that's an idol too. So you're an idolater. You can get your head cut off. And are you prepared to make that decision? Are you prepared? I mean, I think I am, but I try to resolve myself every day that if that day comes soon, if that day comes ever, that I will be prepared to do it. And I want to be resolved to do it. But I don't mean to state things in advance of what I want to do because I hate making guarantees because a lot of times when you make a guarantee, you might not come through. So I want to say just try to resolve it within your heart if you believe and you are a Christian. Even if you do not want to be under a beast system and you aren't a Christian, resolve it within yourself that you will not get this Neuralink crap that you will not get a genetic mutation or a genetic alteration to make you better a third strand of DNA. Resolve it within yourself. Try to do that every day if you can. Try to think about it some, a little bit, at least each week. That what happens if I get taken away? I get placed in a prison. I get placed in a jail. I get placed in a holding facility. And they tell me that I have to renounce my faith and take an electronic chip or an electronic upgrade or a genetic upgrade or even some kind of mark in my hand I have to choose to do that and if I choose to do that and that's where the distinction lies if they force you to do it and you don't have a choice I don't think you can be blamed there but if you choose to do it and that happens to you you are going to be damned you're going to hell you're going to Hades and that's a bad place to be from what I've read from what I've heard, and it's scary, and and I don't like fear-based ideology, but I think you have to look at the good things, but you also have to understand the consequences of bad behavior, and choosing to rebel against God by taking a mark, and the angels, it's said in Revelation that the angels will fly across the sky. I believe it's said in Revelation that the angels will announce that whoever takes the mark of the beast will drink of the fury of God. A wine press of God and which contains a fury which is unmixed I mean it's just going to be pure pure just punishment and that's the best way I can put it and uh, God's punishment is going to be worse than any punishment that the devil can dish out because guess who's above the devil that's right God is and guess where the devil's going the devil's going to the pit so you can choose who you can follow. While you have a chance, choose to follow Jesus. Choose to follow the Heavenly Father, hallowed be his name. Choose to follow the Holy Spirit. Choose to follow the Holy Trinity. Um, the Godhead, whatever you want to call it. There's God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Those are the three that you need to follow. You need 
to worship God and not the devil. And whenever you take the mark or in whatever form it comes in, you're worshiping the beast. So please, please worship God and God alone. Thank you. Have a great day. This is Stephen Christopher, OK News TV. Have a great one. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.